Body cameras have become a common tool used by law enforcement across the United States, and the footage they capture is often instrumental in investigating crimes and allegations of police misconduct. But one security researcher says that many models currently in use by police departments are vulnerable to a wide range of digital attacks. We can track it, we can manipulate the data on it, upload and download videos, wipe, wipe videos. And the cameras could even be used to smuggle malware into a police station. Worst case scenario, launching an attack like that uh, would be probably a ransomware attack against evidence storage repository. Josh Mitchell, the security researcher who discovered these issues in body cameras, says the devices suffer from many of the same security lapses found in other connected Internet of Things products, like baby monitors and printers, and even cars. Okay, hold on tight, hold on. Yeah, I think altogether this whole setup costs less than $100. Mitchell, who works in San Antonio, Texas, showed me how he can hack into one camera, the ViveView LE5 Lights video feed, using a laptop and a long-range antenna he bought online. If you were doing an attack out in the world, there'd be like a million yeah, devices million all connected different devices. to different networks. So I can identify this specific device based on the, uh, the wireless access point. You ready? You ready. I walked a few dozen yards away wearing one of the cameras, and Mitchell easily hacked into it. He could see everything, where I went, and even the passcode I used to lock my phone. All right, so you walk down there, get out your phone, uh, enter in 121256 or something like that. 1256. But that's just the beginning. Many of the cameras can connect wirelessly with other devices, and they transmit a unique ID as part of the process. But none of the Wi-Fi-enabled cameras Mitchell analyzed masked those signals, essentially turning them into tracking beacons. These cameras were designed for transparency, not, not safety or security, really. Mitchell says the signals broadcast by the devices could compromise law enforcement safety or help bad actors evade officers. They don't try to hide themselves, right? But, but for a bad guy, you know, sometimes police officers need to be able to hide themselves, right? That's why you have unmarked police cars. And in addition to being able to track and stream from various devices, Mitchell found ways to remotely access footage stored on four of the five models he studied. Using that kind of hack, an attacker could download, modify, delete, or even replace video files. I wore one model, the Firecam on call, around town as we got lunch. When we got back to Mitchell's home office, I used a web browser on my phone to review the footage I'd taken on the camera. But in the next room, Mitchell was also looking at the files on his laptop. I wanted to use a program that I've written to list all of the uh, media files on the device. I will uh, download one of the media files, and then I will replace it with something else. So we're going to see what he does. And I should be able to see it change in real time on my display. My footage was gone. In its place, an old wired video. Boom. So it's stealthy. The file name is the same, but instead of footage from lunch or from the ice cream shop, it's a wired video. And finally, it's not just footage that's vulnerable. Mitchell says some of the devices could even be used as digital Trojan horses to introduce malware into a police station. If an attacker was so inclined, depending on the model, uh, you could upload malicious software to these uh, devices that then um, launches attack against the PC that it's connected to. You know, if you wanted to del delete all, all evidence stored, you could do that. Mitchell is presenting his findings at this year's DEF CON security conference in Las Vegas. He's alerted the body camera manufacturers about their vulnerabilities and has suggested fixes. Here's what they need to do. Randomize the, the MAC addresses and the Wi-Fi uh, access point names and, and information. That's something smartphones now do to hide individual users. Mitchell says the cameras should also have better access controls and integrity checks to ensure the footage they capture is authentic. So I know exactly what device which media file came from and that it hasn't been tampered with. Wired contacted the manufacturers of all the cameras Mitchell studied. Viveview, which is now owned by Axon, said they are fixing the vulnerabilities he identified. Patrol Eyes said they are aware of his research and are evaluating it. Firecam says it discontinued and no longer supports the on-call model, although new units are still being sold by third parties. Digital Ally and CSC didn't respond to multiple calls and emails by deadline. 
Mitchell says it's unacceptable that these issues in the cameras make it possible to tamper with evidence and could be putting suspects, investigations, and law enforcement personnel at risk. Digital evidence from these cameras are being used to, to prosecute people. And with such high stakes, Mitchell says the fixes can't come soon enough.